Hey everyone, welcome back. It is the 1st of February. We have not filmed an episode in a while, but uh, before we get into this episode, we have a special message. From our favorite sponsor, Dave Phillips. Um, he says that the real estate market is heating back up as we head into spring with lots of pinup up buyer demand out there and back to seeing some properties getting multiple offers. So if you're a fan of the podcast and want your property advertised on here, Give Dave a call at 540-346-4552 and let Phillips Real Estate take care of you. Wow, that rhymed. That was cute. He probably did on <laughs> no, maybe he did. He's the best. Um, but yeah, it's been a couple weeks, so we might be a little rusty. <laughs> but that's okay because we have a very special guest this week. Take it away. Okay. She's 5'5". Five, 5'8". Five. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> five five you actually listed as 5'9 on the roster. I looked I it up. I'm 5'8 and a half, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. She's a lefty. She's a lefty, but yes, she can go right. She'll still shoot with her left, but she'll go right. <laughs> From Hansville, Indiana. She's a social media influencer, basically. No. TikToker, <laughs> part-time basketball player. Um, Firstly, though, and a thousand point scorer, so respect. Second team all tournament in the 2022 ACC tournament. Kayana Trailer. Welcome. Thank you for having us. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um all jokes aside uh kt is obviously a very good basketball player um so it's cool to have her on and i think our second teammate that we've had on the podcast mm-hmm. it was first kayla she so had, you, she you had, have like, to our thing is you have to have a monumental moment so she hit those nine threes and then you banged that oh, you man. actually obliterated uva so that <laughs> probably okay have that's fair that's fair yeah it, it was about time though because we've had a, yeah I know. I think this is the third time you guys have asked me. Third time's a charm. So <laughs> I just feel like I don't want to be a burden to you because I know you love your you time and I don't want to come in the way of that. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> to recap, um, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks. We've played a lot. We're currently seven and four in the ACC. Um, it's been a blur, honestly, because we had like our game on the first of January. And that's why I blinked and now it's the first of Feb. And we, we're literally halfway through ACC play. Over, yeah. And the weeks are just blending into one. <laughs> yeah, we have seven regular season games left. Um, school started, which is sad. Uh, I have an 8 a.m. class, and that's disgusting. Um, <laughs> KT, how's your school going? How's the last month been? Um, I have a lot because I'm in senior seminar. So that in itself is just a lot. But I only have to actually go to class like tuesday and thursday and thursday we're usually gone so really just tuesday so yeah it's not too bad you're majoring in criminology yeah (laughs) yeah what do you want to do with that um like what were your aspirations going into it and what have you uh when i first went into it honestly i just like crime stuff like that's all i watch is like true crime stuff i like like I like reading people, obviously, so I like the interrogation side of it. Like, that's what I was first interested in, and that still might be, like, back up. But now, I think when I'm done with, like, basketball, I want to go to, like, law school and be on, like, the defense side of being a lawyer. So, like, I would, like, technically defend the bad guys, I guess. But, yeah, that that's right now what I am interested in if I want to go and do that much school. But who knows? Well, what are your favorite crime shows? Because I love crime stuff, but it scares me a bit. She watched, uh, what show did you watch? And you didn't sleep? The, the Ted Bundy. The Ted Bundy. She did not sleep the week. Yeah. Well, I just like, honestly, I don't have like a show, but like I'll watch like YouTube. So I literally watch like lo- like actual interrogations. Like, <laughs> like I will sit there and like watch a two hour long interrogation and just like see how they do like the tactics of trying to like get them to admit like what they did like that's the part i like of it like the psychology so. well, okay i do like those those videos when they're in the room like right after they've been caught and they're just like yes. one-on-one yes like, i saw one of like some guy like the people that act like they're like i don't want to sound bad but like they act like they're mentally inflicted and like oh, the yeah. difference between them actually being mentally ill no yes yeah, like i'll watch like videos that like it'll like cut and then it'll tell you like exactly what they think like the person yeah. is doing so yeah i don't know <laughs> wait have you watched did you watch the night stalker when that came out yeah i did i can't even remember yeah i watched it no that made me not i couldn't <laughs> sleep for a week <laughs> no and then we were, we, this is when we lived with kayla and then Liz had like a, we thought there was an air tag on Liz's car because it was like tracking her <laughs> to his house at like 12, 11 p.m. And yeah. we had 
Oh, and it was just your AirPods. It was my AirPods. Yeah, whatever. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, I will say watching all that stuff kind of makes me like paranoid. Like I'd be scared to go outside, like when it's dark. Literally, like oh, that's I'm just why always... you don't go anywhere. <laughs> like I'm just always looking at like my surroundings. I swear, my biggest fear is like getting kidnapped or something. Oh, like, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh I love being Shut a woman. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. Um, moving on to our first segment, roommate report card. Yeah, the roommate report card is brought to you by 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some awesome apparel, you can get it for 15% off on Main Street. We love um, Mary. Yeah, we love the manager Mary. We really appreciate you she's coming been, to all of our games. Yeah, she's been coming to our games and like posting them. We yeah. really appreciate it. I'm sure she's gonna be so excited that KT is here. So shout out <laughs> 310 Rosemont. Head over there. Roommate report card, Georgia. What do you have? <sighs> Nothing. We've been on the road. <laughs> We've played so many away games. Yeah. Did you want to ask your question? Oh, yeah. I have a question. <laughs> so, like, since, like, Rosemont has, like, 15% off or whatever, like, you already pretty much get discounted, right? Because you wear a kid's shoe. Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> 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 or were you being serious? <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. I no, was I'm serious. serious. What size do you wear? Seven. At, at most, seven and a half. So, okay. I can- can you fit a kid's shoe? Yeah. So you can like, kind of kid's my, shoe? like, ones and stuff, like Jordans, I always get, like, literally, like, six and a half youth, and I can fit them. Yeah, I envy that, though, because there's always, like, more variety yeah. and more yeah. options. And it's, cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. Yeah, I'm so jealous. That I haven't been able to do that since I was, like, four. So. <laughs> oh, really. Yeah. But, okay. Anyways, yeah, roommate report card for me. We've been traveling, so... Yeah, we have no time at home. We've had games in the middle of the week the last two weeks. And we're never here when it's light outside. So yeah, don't have much to say. But KT, we know that you live with NARPs um, or non-athletes, whatever. So do you have a report on that? Like, how is that going? Um, <laughs> without being too... Um, it's, it's... Yeah, it's going... <laughs> They won't listen to this. Um, no, I actually really do like most of them. So, um, <laughs> yeah. But honestly, like, I just be, like, in and out. Like, I'm either here, in my literally in my room, or in the gym. So I really don't, like, see them a lot. But it's fine. It's really no different than, like, if I lived in a teammate, with a teammate, because I'd be in my room anyway. So. Who do you room with on the road? Dima. How is she? Great. We don't talk. It is <laughs> like... <laughs> We just like she'll be like, oh, you could shower first, or like, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to go down. Like we just, yeah. we just be chilling. <laughs> I feel like that's like just like a level of comfort where it's just like, yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's not like awkward at all, actually. Like it's silent most of the time, but we just like, it's silent. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I've liked that this year. We haven't been like switching up the roommates too much. Yeah, <laughs> having my comfort. Yeah, for sure. Knowing who I'm sharing a bathroom with is just really comforting, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever um yeah anything else in that no i literally cannot think of like it, I, when i tell you it's been a blur it's been a blur yeah neither that's fine um on to our next segment we have that's a raven which is sponsored by a new book to us again the cornell effect a family's journey towards happiness fulfillment and peace it's an up from the ashes story about cornell cranham who was born a little over a pound, faced incredible challenges in his early years, and how his attitude, passion for life, and sheer determination transformed him, and ultimately those in his presence. Dr. John Cranham, the author, launched the book in February 2020 on the Sons of Saturday podcast. To date, it sold over 100,000 copies and climbed to number five on Amazon in its category. This is a tale about a real hokey family, and if you're wondering if it's worth the read, check out the reviews. It'll make you laugh, cry, and be inspired to live your life to the fullest. Do yourself a favor and go to Amazon and order a copy. I have to say, Kayla is reading this right now. She so. is. I saw her reading it on the bus. Yeah. And they came to our game. We got to meet them. They were lovely people. Yeah. And she said it was really good. So she's enjoying that right now. And then I think I'm going to start it soon. So shout out to the Cornell Effect. So obviously we know. Well, actually, you probably don't know. It was Raven's birthday, 31st. Yeah, 31st of any- January. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, Winnie, for joining us. But um sorry that your gifts haven't arrived raven i'm gonna blame that on amazon she wanted a stuffed mario and luigi doll and they've been delayed for weeks so i don't think they're coming but they tried. i also got raven, she's literally looking something i know just go i <laughs> i got raven a pair of like 
Pokemon Cross, and they came in the wrong size, so I got scammed mm. too. So Raven basically got no gifts. She got all promises, no gifts. <laughs> Which is exactly what she does to us, so yeah. So this time, Raven, uh, we don't have anything that that's a Raven. We just have mistakes we made for you. So she, sorry. She did send me a picture of her sushi and her hot potato chips for lunch. And she left my sister open. My sister wished her happy birthday and she left her on red. Um, <laughs> that was she's rude. Too, she got a lot of messages from all the hokies around there. Yeah, she's she famous. <laughs> she is. Give her time to reply. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. not time to forget. <laughs> um, you have three, sis- like, three sisters, right? Mm-hmm. When you were like, when you lived together, like, did you all get along, or do you find yourself like missing them more now, or like, what yours like? Um, yeah, honestly, the dynamic just depend on the day, because it would be like, there's four of us, so there's three like younger than me, so one day would be like two and two, then we would team up on each other, then the next day would literally be just be like opposite. So I don't know, it just depends, but I think definitely now as like we've gotten older and like not been in each other's face all the time i think it's made us closer so yeah it's nice where do they all like so they kind of all live apart right like your just your other ones at radford yeah one is in radford right now which obviously isn't far um and then another one well the one like after me so there's like me Patience, Ashlyn is the one at Radford. So the one in between us, her name is Patience. She is at a junior college right now in Arizona playing basketball, which is like 45 minutes away from my youngest sister and my mom. They're at like a prep high school where she's playing right now. So yeah. So it's like those three are kind of in the same area and then me and Ashlyn are like out here. So So when you went back like Christmas, that was like your first time in Arizona, right? Yeah. How is that different? Like the change from like Indiana to yeah the weather for one it's freezing in indiana it was kind of actually surprisingly cold in phoenix but it wasn't like it just wasn't indiana winter um but other than that like i don't know just like the scenery scenery in general like indiana's like cornfields grass like phoenix was literally like nothing like dirt like there wasn't a lot of like trees or like green stuff so that was like kind of different but it was cool Wait, so there, did your mom move for her job or just to be close to your sister or anything? She moved for a job. She got a job at the prep school and then my sister is like playing there too. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so they haven't been there in the summer yet or have they? Uh, No, they got there in August, which I guess is like kind of, but not really. Like they haven't like really like the midsummer yet. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. 110 or yeah. something crazy. Yeah. So what I'm, what I'm hearing is like, Phoenix would be like an ultimate league spot, draft spot. That would be, yeah, that would be convenient. Very, <laughs> that would be convenient. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I think that uniforms are probably the darkest too. That's very important in the decision. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm being serious. Oh, I thought you being serious. Yeah. No. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter. Just send me anywhere. But that would be very convenient. <laughs> oh, well, that's so cute. I didn't even know they moved, so good for them. Yeah. Um, next segment is Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokie House again. As always, head down to Hokie House, listen to some great music, have some great food. Again, the jukebox is on the second floor, so go play your Song of the Week. We'll go play ours. We actually went there after the Wake Forest game last yeah. Sunday. What did we have? Oh, we had some nachos. They were really good. Yeah, they were. What else? We got a burger. We got what? Mac fried mac and cheese. We had a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> My family was. Raven actually. loved the ranch. Yeah, the ranch was. She was a fan, but it doesn't take much. No offense. And the act, the people there were like lovely too. Even like not yeah. the workers, but like the people that were eating there were so nice. Yeah, I think they had come from our game also. So yeah, that was really cute. We love Hooky House, but for your song of the week, Georgia. My song of the week is heavily influenced by the show I just started. So I bought HBO Max because I I was actually genuinely trying to watch a US women's soccer game. Um, and then I was like, mm, I have it now. Might as well watch something. I started One Tree Hill, binging it. And so my song of the week is I Don't Want to Be by Gavin DeGraw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you like one, have you watched One Tree Hill? Casey? Yes, it's so really? good. Yes, I love One Tree Hill. I've watched it like three times, actually. But really? yeah. I actually got bored of it. Yeah, I'm missing out. I think it's, I literally watched it like probably six years ago, but I quit it like in season four. I'm not, like, like intently, like I'll watch the drama 
stuff, but it's just like on in the background sometimes. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's great for background noise and like I love the vibe and everything. I just the storylines. I thought they started to repeat. I but then know. I just also am like. Whenever a basketball scene comes on a TV show, I just <gasps> lose it because I'm like, you actually have no fundamentals. And <laughs> like, like, this man walked in on his dad watching his high school tape with the, what is it, VCR? Yeah. <laughs> that shows my age. And he's like rewinding the tape on the, I don't know, just yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, just, do you not, yeah. Are you not in pain when you watch them shoot? I mean, yeah, but I feel like. I don't know. I didn't like she said it kind of like once it got to the basketball stuff, I was just like, okay. It was more like the storylines and like outside of that that I liked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I probably need to give another shot. <laughs> People do love it, but yeah. That's a good song of the week. It's very fitting. Yeah. I heard you blasting it in the shower last night. Yeah. So I know you're not lying. Um, do you have any music you've been listening to, KT? I, you sit behind me on the bus and I always hear it. So what do you got? <laughs> I, hate, I don't know the yeah. song. Yeah, I don't know what song. Wait, what? Like I feel like the like background. Oh, like, yeah. Um, like who's your go-to artist or genre? Yes, yes. Oh, no, yeah, that was a lot. Yeah. You have to tell the fans. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite of all time, Kaylani. Really, anything, anything her. <laughs> Any day of the week it doesn't matter. Anything that's definitely listening to her. <laughs> do you, Do you have a couple favorite songs? I'm just curious. I have a problem like picking favorites, honestly. I'm indecisive. So I can't even really like I literally don't have a song off the top of my head that's like my favorite. No. Yeah, I don't want to make you then. You really can't go wrong. Seriously, yeah. just and you'll yeah. be fine. Exactly. I do, I will say I listen to the same songs literally over and over until I'm tired of them. Like it's bad. Like I will literally sit there and listen to one song for like five minutes and not feel bad about it. I don't know if you remember this, but I don't know. Last year on the bus. Yes, I know. You called me out. Yes. <laughs> I was like, we were probably on like a, I don't even know how long, a three hour bus ride. And I was listening to the same song for like 45 minutes. <laughs> I anything, but it was Sam Smith. And it was yes. like sad. <laughs> you listen to Sam Smith? <laughs> yes, I do. I listen, it, like I can listen to anything like from anywhere. It doesn't matter. Wide range. I just wouldn't picture that. I know. I was just checking up because that wasn't the normal vibe that I got. <laughs> Literally like 10 times in a row. <laughs> and I wasn't trying to listen. Like, it was just... <laughs> yeah. But that's cool that you listen to anything. I, yeah. I respect that. Um, I have a song of the week only because I was in Next Door Bake Shop and I Shazammed it. Are you guys Shazammers if you hear something you like? Yes. Or, or I'll just try to like type the lyrics. Yeah. Like, because I feel like I don't know for some reason I just don't want to ask like if somebody plays a song I'm not gonna ask you what it's called like I'm just like, like I'll have my phone and like if I want Shazam I'm like secretly doing it yeah. like, <laughs> so I'm like facing my phone away like, yeah. I wonder why you did that because I was in there like hey Siri what song is this because I didn't know how to do no, it no it's not there's like a feature on Snapchat so I'll okay. like I'll like hold down the screen yeah. like this <laughs> oh, that's a lot less embarrassing yeah I was in a corner by myself so it was okay but yeah, the band was called the Brook and the Bluff I don't know if anybody will know that probably not also but... next to a big shot Thai market bagel whatever that one mm. is incredible yeah incredible I do love their bagels um on our um previous episode I think it was with Raven it's been a minute we went over yeah. our New Year's resolutions so we're just gonna have a bit of a check in because I feel like we need to self reflect. Mm. And mine was to like, mine was to learn more and take more pictures. I do not take any pictures that has not followed through. Um, but I finished a book and I'm not going to disclose what that book was because it's super. <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm not going to disclose what it is, but I finished a book. It was adult. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you for that. Thanks. Um, I am also getting somewhere on my resolution. I'm on book number five of the year. So hopefully I'll get to 25. But KT, did you have any New Year's resolutions? Yes, I did. And I already failed. <laughs> one, <laughs> one was that I was just going to drink purely water because mm -hmm. I there was at a point where like for like a year straight, I only drank water. And it, like, I don't know, I like noticed a difference. Yeah. Failed like within three days with that. Like, you have? It have been. huh? What did you drink instead? Um, I think it was cranberry juice, which is like. I personally just don't think it's like that bad for you, but I was supposed to stick to only water. So after that, it kind of just went downhill. Yeah. And then I also said I was going to journal, which I actually got a journal. I just haven't like, I think it's like the starting it for me is yeah. like, I just don't, I don't know, but yeah. we'll see. I bought like two of those like bullet journal, like the expensive mm -hmm. ones. Cause my, thing <laughs> is, 
expensive one, I'll do it. And I've yeah. three pages. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think once you get into a habit with those things, it's easier, but it is hard to start, like you right. said. Yeah. Um, but, wow, I'm impressed that you had... Those are very, like, like yeah, those are good. Right? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> the thought was there. The thought was there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, so now we're just going to move on to, like, not rapid fire, but just, like, a, what would you call it? A hot They're really just questions. questions now. Yeah. We used to call them rapid fire, but expand not when really you rapid. see fit. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Um, okay. The first one, I don't know if you saw, you probably did, because I know you're an avid reader of social media and blogs and things like that. As we all are, uh, yeah, we're not throwing her under the bus. No, no, <laughs> God, we see everything. Yeah, yeah, you guys everything, see everything. everything. Um, so a lot of people are saying that you're the X factor of the team. Um, how does that make you feel? I guess, like, do you feel more pressure or anything like that? Um. No, not really more pressure. Um, I mean, Coach G literally walks up to me before every game and draws an X on my back, oh. like literally every single game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but no, it's it's nice, you know, to get like some sort of like recognition, but I wouldn't say pressure, no. How, so like for people who don't know, you were at Purdue before here, um, how has your role changed if like if it has or like? What do you yeah. Um well when I was there I felt like I had to do everything. Like it didn't like score, share the ball, like run the team, like everything. Like I was primarily point guard there for three years. So I will say like that's probably the biggest change is just being like off the ball, which I was kind of worried about whenever I came here because I just was always used to having the ball in my hands. But now I would honestly rather be <laughs> off ball. So it's worked out well, I think. I feel like that's like what teams dread is like once we can get to you on the wing, it's like, mm. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's like the best game that you've like experienced at tech? Like in game, home or away? Mm, I thought the whole ACC tournament last year was fun. Like, oh. Which I, even when I was in the Big Ten, like, I always liked the tournament style type of games. But, um, I, yeah, I would definitely say, I don't know if I have, like, one specifically. Probably UNC, just because, like, how it ended and, like, stuff like that. But just in general, those three games are fun to me. Yeah. I always find also, like, when there's a picture that I really like from a specific game, I, like, associate really good memories with it. <laughs> so, like, that picture of you guys, I yeah. think it's game, yeah. like, it just like trumps all other memories of the AC tournament. Like I just yeah, yeah, agreed. <laughs> like whenever they redo Han, that'll be like everywhere. I know it will. Yeah, <laughs> film room like on the back wall, as it should be because obviously you guys were amazing and we won. So, um, the next question we like touched on your sister a bit before. Um, but what is it like having your sister play at Radford? Like, do you get to see her? I know you're planning on going to her game tonight, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, honestly. We don't see each other as much as you would think we would because, like, especially now that we're in season, whenever we weren't, we saw each other pretty much, like, I would say, like, three times a week. But now it's not as much. Like, she has a cat and I have a cat, so, like, she'll drop it off whenever she's going to go for, like, an away game or, like, stuff like that. But just, like, small stuff, like, going to each other's games. Like, once in a while, we'll be able to, like, go out to eat and stuff. But we're super busy, so, honestly, we don't really see each other a lot. But it is nice just, like having someone here like i know that like she's right down the street if i needed someone so that's nice since you brought up your cat where did you get him how important is he to you the name like fill fill everyone in yes um if you don't know i am a cat mom an avid cat mom at that like he's literally my son but um his name is kobe i named him that honestly not because of kobe like yeah, it's nice, but because it started with K, um, so I wanted like some like that. This is my plan. If I ever have kids, they all have to be K's, like all, and then like Kiara, like like Kiana Kiara. So like everybody has to be K's, so him included. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I got him when I was. Of the end of my freshman year at Purdue, and I've had him ever since. So yeah, he's like three and a half. Did you rescue him or was it like you bought uh, He was in a, sh yeah, he was in a shelter. I think I paid like $50. Like, yeah. Oh, so. Those are the best. And he's gorgeous. Gorgeous I eyes. Love, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, he is very cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we already touched on your sisters, so I guess the next question is, what is like your pregame ritual? Mm. Like, if, you have, if you're superstitious, if you have to do stuff. Yeah, I'm not very superstitious, like not really but i will say most times if i can i like to take a nap but it can't be like like my naps usually are like hours long but like before a game i can only do like 20 minutes i'm gonna be dead when i wake back up so i would say if i had one it would be a nap but like when we have away games i never have time to take a nap so really it's just like home games nap other than that don't really have one so is the gushers thing not the case or <laughs> uh no i just like gushers in general honestly it doesn't matter <laughs> like i just love gushers but i mean you gotta have at least two yeah they're delicious yeah um i was gonna ask too like you keep to yourself a lot whatever like you said you spend a lot of time in your room or at the gym which i think a lot of us are doing this time of year but do you think you know a lot of people's complaint about blacksburg is like there's not a lot to do so do you still have that complaint or do you think you're not as affected yeah I don't people ask me this all the time like how's Black, Blacksburg and I'm like I don't really know but um it doesn't bother me personally because like I said I don't really like I feel like for me like all I need is like places to eat like sometimes I'd be wanting to like just go like shop and look around so that is kind of like lacking mm-hmm. but other than that it doesn't really bother me yeah what is your favorite place to eat favorite place to eat yeah um yeah that's hard that is hard uh i'll just give like an in general i like pasta like doesn't mm-hmm. really matter from where so i really like avellinos i think it's called i like that so yeah, yeah. do you cook ever or you know uh no i'm no, <laughs> no. <laughs> i'm a terrible cook i couldn't i can barely make like ramen noodles like seriously it's bad but <laughs> can kiera cook yeah, she can. Like, really, really good. So There's no reason to learn. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> um, This one is a bit more personal. Uh, a lot of people confused us on the TV last year, and I'm not sure why. I think it's because of the ponytail, Um, but yours is 10 times better than mine, so I just want to know, what is your, like, hair routine and what products do you use? Oh, my gosh. I'm like, oh. so unsure why people... <laughs> For one, so many people have asked me this this year. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. It's for one, it's I have to literally go in the bathroom like 45 minutes before we have to be out there. Like I need like a good 45, 50 minutes to like whatever. But no, um, I just usually well the night before I'll like wash my hair so that my curls look good, and then um, when I'm like actually doing my hair, I use like this. I think it's called Eco Gels. No, no. Got be, got to be something, whatever, gel. Whatever. It does not, like, that is, like, the only thing that I can use my where my hair, to, like, does not move. So I use that. And, yeah. But I spend so much time on my hair. Like, anytime I'm going somewhere with somebody, like, they always get frustrated. This is not, not somebody, Kiara. She always gets frustrated. <laughs> She always gets frustrated because I will not leave the house until, like, it look Like, my hair is, like, one thing I just cannot, like, it has to. Like, I can, like, look crazy. Like, I could be wearing, like, sweats every day, whatever. But, like, my hair has to be, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's true. Because you still, like. It looks when the same. Yeah, you look put together. Thank like, you. Like, and then she'll be on the bench and she'll, like, be feeling, like. <laughs> just make sure it hasn't moved yet. <laughs> same. Have you, have you ever had, like, a, a game disaster when somebody has, like ripped it or something or like pulled it um yes once i tried to wear my hair in a bun and i literally had to keep taking it down and putting it back up because it kept getting knocked off so i'll never do that again like i can do buns for practice but in a game now stick with the pony yeah that's yeah. nice um this is a little bit more of a serious question i guess but what do you think are your plans after college right now tentative obviously you know nothing's for sure but yeah be, what would you uh, um I honestly before this year I never really thought like like when I thought about playing professionally I never thought like I like I instantly thought like overseas and that still might be an option but I would love to hopefully you know like even if I'm not drafted like get a training camp like just like that some type of experience like in the WNBA and then 
whatever that looks like, I definitely do want to play professionally for like a few years just to avoid having to get a job and, you know, save up money for law school, stuff like that. So, yeah, as of right now, I definitely want to play. Yeah. So you but you would consider playing overseas if that's. Yeah. Like, yeah, if that's. I mean, they pay more and you would get to travel. I would get to travel at the same time. So it's kind of like, it's a, either way, it's like, I think it'll be good. There's not really like a lose option, I don't think. Yeah, no. Do you have any like spots you think would be like best suited for you or? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. There's, I know there's a lot of spots that my mom does not want me to go. <laughs> like super like scared and stuff. But honestly, like, for me, I think it's just going to depend on, like, what the money looks like. Right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, another question, just from me to you. Uh, can you teach me how to foul, like, finish layups when people are fouling the absolute crap out of you? Like, how do you yeah. do that? You get hacked. This one gets hacked and you get hacked. I don't finish yeah. that. Um, I honestly, at this point, I just expect the contact. Yeah. Like, so... I don't, I don't know. I definitely do miss, though, a lot, but... <laughs> like, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, if there's a right way to answer that, but I try to just focus on actually finishing the layup, because half the time they don't call the fouls. Like, I would use, I used to, like, just try to draw the foul and get to the free throw line, but now I'm, like, trying to finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys yeah, actually... Like you you get blown over like all the time you yeah. scare me because you yeah. <laughs> and I fall so hard like so hard. I it was the three sixty layup yeah sixty one for me I don't know. I don't know that was Kayla's fault though because she ran right in front of me <laughs> you too yes oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, her player was following her I was like no. I know I had to like block her player off and like <laughs> God. We love Kayla. She's just trying to move. She was. She's just, she just panicked. <laughs> it was low shot clock. She had already messed up the shot clock because she listened to the student section. Yeah. She <laughs> In that clip, you can see me like yelling at her. I'm pretty sure I yelled at her. To oh shoot. yeah, no. When I gave it to her, I definitely thought there was like two seconds left. Like I thought she had to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the thought didn't yeah. occur to me until yeah. Oh well, sorry Kayla about that. I'm not me. <laughs> Anyways. Um, also, everyone knows, I think you hit a half court shot or beyond half. It was like 10 feet behind Yeah. Um, against UVA. So was that your first one in a game, actually, in Purdue? Um, college, yeah. I had one in high school before, but obviously, like, the courts are smaller, so it's not that big of a deal. But, um, yeah, I think that was the first in college, yeah. It was so deep. It was <laughs> And I know. People kept asking me like what my thought was. I didn't really have one other than I saw like the shot clock in front of me, and it was like two seconds. And I was like, okay, not picking you up either. Like, yeah, I no, like, I watched it back. Her hands were literally down. Yeah. So it was like literally a clear. Yeah. And you know what made me mad was the fact that you made it with no practice. Kayla yeah. and I <laughs> bomb half court shots because oh, wow. like I can even tell you the last time that I like shot one. I think it was like in practice, like whenever he has us do it, like yeah. which was forever ago. Yeah, yeah. we haven't done that since like recruits came. No, yeah. Well, the crazy <laughs> thing is too, like that game, like in the third and fourth quarter, I think it got to like five. So like those yeah. three points actually like helped a lot. Right. <laughs> yeah, point game. It would have or dr like drawn even. Well, I see. Tied. Sorry, I got in trouble once because I said the score is a draw. And trouble people, by who? What's not in trouble, but people are gonna be confused. <laughs> That's nice. Like, tied. I like it. it's a draw. That makes yeah. sense. It is. Um, um, speaking of our games, we have hit February as I mentioned, so we only have a few left. Um, we play against Syracuse this Thursday. What are your thoughts, both of you guys? Oh, yeah, when he's been She's when he's so. Cool. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, Syracuse on Thursday. Um, basically, every team in the ACC is really good, so I'm expecting a really hard game. We have not had a not close game yet, I don't think. And even even when we beat Wake by how much, like you could look at the end score, it did not didn't yeah. put in the uh, one two three point um, lead we had in the third yeah. after they scored thirty in the quarter. So every game, yeah. Yeah, at this point, I just literally expect it to, like, come down to, like, the fourth quarter every game. 
Yeah. Um, I actually I took a screenshot. I checked ESPN before our game. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Against UVA. And I checked the scores. Duke Florida State was 22 22. Miami Wake Forest was 21 21. And Pitt and BC were 26 26. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We have a game Thursday night against Syracuse. And I think everyone knows this by now the ACC is incredibly tough to get solid wins against. Every single game we've played has come down to the fourth quarter. Um, hopefully, we can string together some good quarters against Syracuse, but not expecting anything because. The ACC is so deadly. Yeah, it's crazy. Every single game has been so challenging and come down to like a few possessions. So I'm expecting the same, um, but that should be a good game. And then again, on Monday, we play NC State. And I'm pretty sure, is that on ESPN? Yeah, yeah like ESPN2 or something. <laughs> yeah, so catch us on cable. Uh, that's new. What's mm-hmm. the RSN? Huh? RSN? No, no Bally, Bally Sports. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be on ESPN for that, and that's on Monday. So, yeah. pretty much from here on out, like obviously every game matters, but oh my gosh, <laughs> we have like Syracuse State, Florida State, like Duke, UNC, all of that. So, every game will definitely be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, so we're really looking forward to our last seven regular season games, and yeah, until then. You're going to do our outro with us, obviously, because you're a queen of castle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm Liz. Yeah, I'm Georgia. And then you'll say I'm however you, you want people to call you. And then I'll say, and we're, you'll see. Just say your name. I'm okay. 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 All right. Um, okay. Yep. Okay. I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. And we're I'm Joanna. Joanna. Oh. Okay. That's on me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited. Wow. That's embarrassing. Okay. Ready? Okay, I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. And I'm Kayana. And we're Queens Queens of Castle. Castle.